pursuit, one in custody after shooting, pursuit in Hopkins. November 21st, 2021, 5.22 p.m. An investigation is underway after a shooting at a Hopkins apartment building Sunday, police said. Officers responded to Knollwood Towers West Apartments on a report of shots fired at 2.17 p.m., according to the Hopkins Police Department. Upon arriving at the complex at 1010 Lake Street Northeast, they found a man with a gunshot wound. He was taken to a nearby hospital. Witnesses saw a vehicle leave the area and law enforcement attempted to stop it, police said. However, the suspect vehicle fled and a pursuit ensued. The driver was ultimately apprehended. Hopkins police are working in tandem with other agencies, and an investigation is ongoing. Police believe the incident is isolated. The victim's condition is unknown. No further information is available at this time. A shooting in a quiet Twin Cities suburb led to a police chase on the highway. Police responded to a shooting at an apartment complex at 1010 Lake Street in Hopkins, just south of the shops at Knollwood. It happened just after 2 o'clock this afternoon. Kay Raditz spoke to neighbors who are concerned about this, their safety with the recent crime. Police searched the surrounding area outside the Knollwood apartment Sunday after a shooting left one man injured. First I heard two shots. Ronald Brooks was watching the Vikings game at a nearby apartment. I looked at my girl, she looked at me like, I was like, those are not fireworks. So I told her to lay down. So I laid down, I crawled to the window. A young man was running across the yard screaming somebody had been shot. A vehicle was seen by witnesses leaving the scene and police pursued it. Traffic cameras captured the vehicle speeding away from police going north on Highway 169 for several miles before exiting from view at 49th Avenue North in New Hope. Several residents told us that crime in this area has been on the rise in the last year. Sandy has lived down the street for the last seven years. She's planning on moving when her lease is up next summer. At this point, I don't feel safe. This was at 2.15 in the afternoon. So, and I walk around that park every day, so it's terrifying. There were limited details given from investigators Sunday night as to what led up to the shooting or how many people were involved. Police are working with multiple agencies. Kids don't have boundaries anymore. Like, they don't. Like when I was growing up, I had boundaries. I could only do this and this and this. That's completely gone nowadays. Kate Raditz, WCCO 4 News. Police were able to catch the man who drove away in the pursuit. The man who was shot was taken to a local hospital. Authorities do believe this was an isolated incident.